Tony Longo, 100th day, day 10. The five things I thank God for on day 10. Um, I'm just going to say them and then I'm, I'll, I'll talk about them in the end because they all come together. Um, number one was a dream. I woke up from a dream in the middle of the day. So, um, number one's the dream. And in the dream I was at a facility and I was sick and I was young. And I was waiting to get picked up to leave the facility. So, number two would be remembering the dream. Number three would be the good angel that was in the dream. Number four would be the bad angel that was in the dream. And number five was, it wasn't it my lesson from remembering the dream. So those are the five things. And um, what's weird is this, uh, I saw the angels in it, wasn't, I wasn't awake, it was in a dream. I was dreaming. And I was awoken from the dream, but happened to remember it. So I'm in this facility, and I'm sick, it's, it's obvious, but I'm young. And I'm waiting to leave, and, and there's a, 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 a waiting for to be picked up, and it's my father who comes and sees me, and my father's already passed, which is weird just there. This is a, I knew this was going to get weird. And um, he said he's going to go and get the car, which is, I'm okay. And then there's a, there's a, this is the bad angel with me, who's uh, walking me away. And I said, hold on, I want to get my stuff. And he makes a face and he t takes me back and then next to me is, is, is a good angel who I didn't recognize or anything but he was he was a good angel and he was just smiling and com just comforting me and um, so I walked to a, what, what, what is my room and it's uh, I said I want to take my stuff and the bad angel is <laughs> already stealing it which is funny but it um, so you get, there's a cart there, and I go through everything, and, and, and I'm like, I want this, I, I don't need that, and he's like, can I keep that, can I have that then, can I have that then? And he goes, you know, I've been accused of, st of taking stuff in the past, he goes, you know, let them know that you said it was okay that I could take this. So, this is the bad angel, and the good angel is just there quietly with me. And I go through all this, and, and, there's, and then there's two carts, and, and one cart is what I'm going to let the bad angel have, and the other cart is what I want to keep, and I'm going through things, and I see shoes, I see a, some sort of uniform that was a, a, like a, a baseball uniform, and then realize I'm still young here, I was, I was in my childhood, and um, I'm going through, and then I, they, they tell me, I, it's time, it's time, you got to leave, I'm hearing a buzzer, and then there's a little girl walking in, I have no idea the significance of this, he's walking in, and um, so I have to walk out of what is my room, and it's the bad angel with his stuff in the cart and the good and the, the cart with all the stuff I want and on the shelf just as I'm walking out I reach back and in the back I pull out a, a small pair of like ballerina dancing shoes and I said to myself these are Chloe's and Chloe's my daughter and I don't know this is where uh, dreams are weird man you know anyone who knows them can look this up but um it was my daughter's shoes and I, I literally at that point forgot about everything that was in the cart that I wanted to take with me and the bad angel was there telling me that he's yelling like don't let them know that I did that you said I could keep this and I'm walking out and I realized and then there's a little girl walking into my room and she has like three carts of stuff and their toys and stuff like this and as I'm walking away I, I in my hands the only thing I'm carrying is is the, the small pair of shoes that remember that, that were Chloe's dancing shoes from when she was small. She's 19 now. And I just kept walking and um, I, I, I was leaving. And I, I guess the moral, I, I don't know, you know, you can see more on angelsherenow.com, read about all this. But I, I believe that it's, we can't take stuff with us, you know. In the end, the only thing I could take with me was the pair of shoes. So, on day 10, I thank God for this dream, and I thank God for me remembering and being able to thank him for five things within a dream. Even the bad angel had a significance, which I don't know what it is, but you just accept it. 
and as I left to go to my father, um, the good angel was right alongside me. And then I woke up, and there were no shoes, and I realized it was just a dream. But it was from that dream that I still found five things within the dream to thank God for. And now I search for maybe the meaning or the, the logic or, or maybe the, the, the main moral or greatness of it all is being able to share it and someone else gets something from it. That of all the belongings, all the materialistic things, all the things that represented my life, the one thing I carried with my daughter's dancing shoes. And I left. And I woke up and I'm here on day 10. These are the five things I thank God for on day 10.